can offer a legal interpretation of the Men's House for uh, minimum one year that takes in uh, little boys and uh, makes men of God. It's a vessel. It's a ministry uh, used by God. And uh, I remember over the summer, I went on our men's retreat. I went up to a uh, pastor's campsite, and I was like, you know, pastor, I, I, I could, I could, I could do a year. And I was such a mess. I didn't, I didn't think I was, but I was such a mess. He's like, one year, you're on the five-year plan. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so praise God, I'm uh, ending up on uh, my first year, come February, and uh, one down, four to go, I guess. You know, but uh, no, nah, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is John Restivo, and this is my pause for purity. Uh, commitment. This was, not a, uh, this was not a word in my vocabulary except on the grounds of my sinful lifestyle. I was committed to ruining lives and wreaking havoc onto people that loved me dearly. I have been saved for six years, and most of my, my walk was a cafeteria Christianity that consisted to serving self and pleasing me. Yet God had called me to BOTR in February of 2009 and my life has been forever changed. After going to Keswick from July to December, I returned to finish my commitment that I made to the Men of Nails and Building on the Rock. I am learning and living commitment in all areas, not just church attendance, not just reading my Bible, not just prayer shifts or praying, but to my family, my future wife, and my children, to my brothers and leaders, and to you, the body of Christ, but above all things, to Jesus Christ himself. I've made a, I, oh, sorry. I've made a minimum one-year commitment to the men and nails. Through his grace and my submissiveness, I will carry it out. I am excited to see what God unravels in this year. As of right now, my family is being restored. I am becoming a husband, a father, a pastor to my household, and brother, and man of God, God's man. My name is John Recivo, and this is my Paul's for Purity.